Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to connect your mirrorless or DSLR Sony or Canon camera to computer and do a live stream. Basically, you can use these cameras as a webcam to have that crispy, awesome video rather than the crappy inbuilt webcam footage. So let's see how to do it. You don't need any other hardware required for this to happen. What you only need is a USB cable connected to a computer. By the way, the camera settings need to be tweaked to make sure that on Sony camera, you change the control with smartphone option turned off. I have created a video here. You can watch it here. So I'll put the link so you can watch that video. You can use it for YouTube live or Instagram live, Facebook live. So whatever the case is, you can use your DSLR or mirrorless camera to do that live streaming for best quality video. So let's jump into it and see how to do it. So first step is turn on the camera. And as you can see here, it's connecting to computer. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. So from the dashboard, I'm going to pick up the remote option, which is the software provided by Sony. In my previous video, I have put the link where you can get the software. Right now, we are looking at how to connect it. All right, now on the desktop, you can see it detected the camera and it is now connecting. Right now what the camera is seeing, that's what is gonna feed into the desktop. As you can see here, when I point the camera, it's moving and desktop has what the camera is seeing. So at this point, you are all set. Then all you need is another software called OBS. That is the open broadcast solution or system. All you need to do in the OBS is to just add here a scene. Let's say, let's call it as video. And here, all you have to do is add a window capture because let's call this as Sony. And at this point, you know that this window over here, this is called remote. So look for that option in the drop down and as you can see it's right here so click on that voila now you have it selected and just click ok so now you can adjust the position of that now that you have the window captured all you have to do is right click or on the mac you know double click and then you'll get an option to say transform to fit the screen so once you do that you have this option so now for the live streaming, you don't want to show the users all this additional menu bar on the top and the left. Hold option and then try to push it inward so that it's only showing what is on the screen. So something like this. All right, there you have it. So you can just click on the option button to adjust the frame. So you're not showing other controls that the remote software has. And this way you can have the camera in my case right now. All right, there you have it. So right now you guys are seeing what the camera is seeing. If I move the camera around, it's a live streaming and this open broadcast can help you start streaming right from the button over here. So you are all set to stream with your camera. I hope that helps. All right, that's it for today. I just wanted to share that quick tip with you guys. If you're using a Sony camera or Canon camera, find the software that is used for remote shooting, install it on your computer, connect with USB cable, and then you should be all good to use it with that software. All you have to do is open the OBS, which is a free software, then select window capture, and then you are all set. From the drop down, just pick the name of the application that is running the camera for live view and use that. Then you can click, control click or option click on Mac to adjust the size of the window so you are not showing additional controls to the user when live streaming. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to connect your camera and use it for live streaming without the need of any additional hardware. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.